cheesesteak I specialty for your salmon cheesesteak surf and turf. Okay. My mother makes this salmon every week using grilled salmon filet and belly. Nice. 27 years. 27 years. So you guys are a whole establishment here. Yeah, for the love of the game. <laughs> <laughs> So we don't do a whole bunch of fillers and stuff in it. Salmon speaks for itself. But we recommend you have with spinach, fried onion, and a house made tart. We get that in house as well. So that's what the salmon is pretty much seasoned with. But that fresh spinach and that onion, you want to give it a little bit of salt. Try to give it a little I don't like to cook the salmon so it's too dry. You want that natural moisture from and the natural oil from the salmon to be in that steak to bring that flavor through. The point of doing all this work and making all this fresh salmon for y'all. We're gonna cook it to death, you know? Yes, coming right up. You guys like one of the first black owned delis around too on the summer? Like in the I think we're the longest so there's a couple other black owned delis. They don't do what we do. Um, we are we started as a traditional deli, traditional sandwiches. So if you look us up and Google us, we still do one of the best corned beef specials in the that city. <laughs> Salmon surf and turf cheesesteak. Can y'all see that beautiful creation right there? She said she just made this, so I don't even like, I'm kind of flustered right now. She just made this and she said, go eat it right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna listen to what Miss Nicole is saying. So this is the salmon. It's on like a honey wheat roll or something like that. Y'all see that? So this is the surf and turf salmon cheesesteak with spinach. Everything in-house from what she explained, the sauces, the spices. This is the big jumbo shrimp that they put on each one of them. Y'all see that? It is so bright, I cannot focus. Y'all see that? Got the shrimp. You gotta make sure you put your hand on top of it. Looks like a honey wheat roll, amoroso roll. This is falling everywhere. Mount Airy Deli. This is, uh, this is the first sandwich. They're gonna make me a couple other things too. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That bread is super soft. I love the, I love the spinach, the spinach action on here. Mmm, that's amazing. Lots of spinach in here, man. And that salmon, that's a meaty salmon. I love salmon to begin with, but that salmon is so meaty. Mm. Good thing about this shrimp, it's not overly fried. This shrimp has a nice light batter. You see the batter on this? It's so light. You can kind of mistake it for being kind of like grilled too. But that's actually a deep fried shrimp. Super delicate, super moist. Amazing. Amazing flavors, man. Mount Airy Deli. Mm. That shrimp has like. It's not. It's not tough. Like they cooked it perfectly. Mm. I can taste the freshness of that salmon, but to me, the characteristics of the of the, of the spinach and the onions and that shrimp, one of the best surf and turf salmon cheesesteaks I ever had. Fifteen years ago, they were talking about me getting fish in. I said, no, I'm not getting no fish. There's no way in the world. I was cool with just doing the cold sandwiches yeah. and the cheese steaks mm -hmm. and the french fries. That's kind of that kind of thing. But then all of a sudden, we got the fish in here. And the first time we was getting the fish, we was going like to the to the, to the supermarket. I just wanted to see how it worked out. The next thing you know, man, we up to like three, four hundred pounds of weight. Mm. What's up? That salmon is all. Right. 
I mean, I've been never looked and even with this front. We're doing uh, 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 all kinds of things. And then, you know, and, and believe it or not, when I first came on this, on here, what is it, 1995, I think it was, when I first came on the block, they said, what do you plan on doing in here? <laughs> I said, I'm going to open up a sandwich shop. They said, you're not going to have video games or nothing like that in here, are you? I'm like, I come from like managing Wawa's and managing 7-Elevens. I had like 12 7-Elevens at one time that I was managing. I had like two Wawa's I managed at one time by myself. And I said to myself, why don't I take that, 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 that same skill set. energy and, and skill set and put it right in here? 27 years, you 28 did it. years later, you did it. You here we go. go. You know what I mean? Pass Excellent the, job. Pass the day, Excellent pass the day, job. The day, the Excellent you know job. I mean? You know, then, then, then that goes into another topic that I like to talk about. Mm -hmm. I can't say too much of they didn't get that much time. But generational wealth. There you go. And the only way we can have generational wealth and residual wealth is by doing things like that. Diligence and, 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 and sweat equity and, and, and businesses and property. So that when you get to an age when it's time for you to just go ahead and sit back, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You ain't got to worry about family guy. There you go, you ain't got to worry about the Medicare and all that. You ain't got to worry about that stuff you've been doing, right? Hard luck. They said that one time when I first got to, well, this is the hard luck card. I hope you do better than the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember. And, and my father in law said, my wife's father, he said to me, he said, if you tell your people you're going to be there at 7 o'clock in the morning, be there at 6 50. He said, if you tell your people you're going to close at 8 o'clock at night, close at 8 30. If you do that every single day, it, if you're open, you'll have no problems at all with customers coming in and being loyal to you because they know you're going to be there for them. You're loyal to them, they're going to be loyal to you. And that's what we've been doing for the last 30, 25, 27, 28, I forget now. 20 years. And then we get people like you, and then we get people like food chasers. Food chasers came here. They're the ones that put us really on the map. And they came in, and they, the moment that they came in, all of a sudden I looked across the street, we had like cars just pulling up and pulling up and pulling up. And we were always, yeah, hurt. Hurt. everybody they always tell us, keep the Garden of Black, I don't know if you remember the Garden of Black. They were always telling us how good their, our food is, and how come we ain't got lines at the door. But with but, but, but support from like the people like yourself, food chasers, and a couple of the other people. Uh, 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 all of a sudden, boom, here we are. Shout out to my Airy Deli, the whole staff in there too, family owned and operated. Like it's like grandpops, grandmom, daughter, son, you know what I mean? So shout out to them, man. And uh and you know, they had a lot to get off their chest. Like I was asking them about like um some of the things that were said like online about them and and I get it, you know, when it comes to like fame, when it comes to just being popularity, like you're gonna get like a lot of uh unfavorable reviews at times, but that just comes with the fame, man, like because you can't satisfy everyone, so Shout out to this beautiful, beautiful shrimp hoagie. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite as beautiful as this before. But that is a beautiful shrimp hoagie. I'm going to show y'all. Nicely toasted. Look at that. Y'all see that? Look at that. Look at that beautiful sandwich right there. I want y'all to see that. Look at this beautiful shrimp hoagie again. Amoroso roll. We got six pieces of shrimp in this hoagie right here. Make sure you subscribe. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. I love the layer of, of uh, spinach they put on there. It gives a nice crispiness to it. That sriracha, you know me, hot sauce, hot things. I love hot things. Hey, good morning. Nice spread of like whatever type of mayo sauce they use on there. It's delicious, man. Mm. I like a shrimp in every bite. Mm. Mount Airy Deli. One time for the one time. They've been here for 28 years. You know how good you have to be to be here for 28 years? That's an accomplishment in itself, man. This is a perfect, perfect type of hoagie after Thanksgiving. 
you're eating light, but you're still getting something savory, nice, something nice and crunchy, still getting a hokey, so. Mm. Spinach, that spinach is the right touch. That spinach, I love me some spinach, that spinach is damn good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look at the big jumbo shrimp they put on here, on their hoagies, look at that. Right now, I got to them before, I think I got here like 11.30. There's not too much of a line here, so if you guys want to have a chance, come early, of course. And let me tell you something. They're very stern in there when it comes to ordering, especially when they're busy. So you have to, you know, have some patience for them, man, because when I first walked in there, grandma, I was like asking the grandma, like, can I film? She's like, nope. <laughs> But then, you know, they recognized me and then I was able to have some favorable treatment. I thought I'd have to disclose that to y'all. But grandma don't play no games in there, all right? They don't play no games in there, period. So be patient with them. The hoagie, their food is well worth the wait. And this is one of the spots you just have to visit as well. You know what I mean? It's not too many black owned delis. You know what I mean? If I gotta keep it real with y'all. And it's, it's a good thing to have in the neighborhood, you know? So. Shout out to Mount Airy, shout out, shout out to Mount Airy Deli. Shout out to the whole staff here, the whole family here too. Great, great hoagies. Um, I'm gonna stop doing like game changers and stuff like that. I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm actually, I am developing a rating system. You know what I mean? So y'all better get ready for that. That rating system probably come out next year, but for now, game changers is gonna, you know, it might, it might pop up from time to time, but I'm going to stop saying game changers, period. Right, so look out for the rating system too. Mount Airy has been, it's been real. I got to get me a Bev now. I ain't, you know, my throat is dry. So I'll see you on the next episode. Make sure you subscribe.